Hello guys, so once again welcome back to our channel, so today in this video we will see what happened during the fight of the Hashiras vs Muzan, but before we start the video, let me warn you that this video is going to contain spoilers, so if you guys are okay with spoilers, then let's begin the video. So in the previous chapter, we have seen that Tanjiro and the Hashiras were battling against Muzan, but when Tanjiro was charging towards Muzan to attack him, he along with the pillars suddenly got teleported into the Infinity Castle, everyone in the castle got separated from each other, and in the Infinity Castle hordes of demons were rushing towards the demon hunters to attack them. Upon being transported into the Infinity Castle, Tanjiro became very confused, he could not understand for a second what happened, he was fighting Muzan a moment ago, but now suddenly, he was in the Infinity Castle, he could not even differentiate from left to right, Every room and place in the castle was literally identical to each other. Tanjiro figured out that this place is created by the blood art of a demon. Before he was transferred to the castle, Lady Tamayo was constraining Muzan, but she was not capable of holding him down for long enough, therefore Tanjiro settled that in order to defeat Muzan, he have to hurry. Tanjiro was constantly falling from a great height, while he was thinking that, if he does not do anything he would eventually crash to the floor and die. He tried to grab something in order to survive, but he was not able to grab anything because of his bad posture, while he thought there was nothing he can do to stop the fall, but suddenly Tomioka grabbed Tanjiro and pulled him up, after being saved by Tomioka, Tanjiro thanked him, while Tanjiro was thanking him a demon tried to attack him from the back, but because of his sharp reflexes Tanjiro was easily able to counter his attack and defeat the demon, but after that even more demons appeared from the door and attacked Tanjiro, Tomioka and Tanjiro simultaneously used the Breath of Water 3rd form and 6th forms against the demons, due to their coordinated attacks they were able to get rid of the demons in only one sweep. Even Tomioka was surprised by seeing Tanjiro's growth, Tanjiro was able to predict what attack Tomioka was going to use, and then he used an attack of his own editor to match Tomioka's technique and launched a combined attack, Tomioka found Tanjiro quite dangerous. On the other end of the Infinity Castle, Obanai the Snake Pillar, and Mitsuri the Love Pillar were also facing a large number of demons, Obanai single-handedly killed all the demons with Breath of Snake 5th form. After defeating the demons, Obanai and Mitsuri went to find out the enemies in the castle. Gyomei the Stone Pillar and Muchiro the Mist Pillar were also fighting the demons of the Infinity Castle, Muchiro stated that there are a lot of demons here, to that Gyomei replied that the demons here have the strength of a lower moon, Muzan was trying to exhaust the demon hunters by making them fight the demons, then Muchiro asked what happened to Kagaya, Gyomei answered that Kagaya has died. He told him that Kagaya has used himself as a decoy in order to trap Muzan the sorrowful Machiro remembered the past when Kagaya helped him when he was on the verge of death after getting attacked by a demon, he called Kagaya as a father figure of the pillars, Machiro swore that he will definitely kill Muzan for taking the life of his second father and brother, Gyomei added that they all feel the same way. Sanemi the Wind Pillar was also blaming himself for not being able to save his master, it felt like he had the most impact of Kagaya's death. Although a demon was about to attack him, but his expression didn't even change, and it took him only a sweep of his one hand to kill the demon, after that even more powerful demons were closing near him. But Sanemi with a deadly smile and tears declared that he is going to slaughter each and every one of them. Along with Tanjiro and the pillars, Inosuke, Jenya and Zenitsu were also summoned into the Infinity Castle. All of them were confused on how they ended up here in the castle, but none of them wasted a single moment, and they directly started slaying the demons. Lastly but not the least, we see Shinobu heading towards a room, she could smell human blood coming from that chamber, when she saw the scene inside, even she was surprised, she saw that the upper moon 2 Doma was sitting beside the corpses of a large number of women, and he was enjoying eating the hand of one of the ladies, the shocked shinobu froze for a second when she saw this scene. So, this was all for today's video, in the next episode we will see what will happen with shinobu, if you guys want to watch the video as soon as it arrives, remember to subscribe the channel, thank you for watching.